How are your claws now? They're nice and sharp? Uh, why are you sharpening your claws, by the way? Eh, don't look at me like that. I see a lot. I see a lot. Watch out! Hey! Dude! I'm going to tame an ocelot. You just don't roll on top of people. Hear ye, hear ye, all gather round the town square here in uh, Simpleton. <laughs> the new town we had discovered in the last episode now has a name. It is called Simpleton, discovered by the Pink Sheep Clan, of course, uh, on January 26, uh, 2019. And that was episode number seven, where we had uh, discovered our first stray cats, or at least tamed our first stray cats. We got two of them here, and I have given them names. Thank you very much for these suggestions in the comments. Keep all those comments and tips and likes coming. It is very much appreciated. And we have coffee and cream. Yay, coffee and cream. Black and creamer. Uh, Persian, creamy colored. <laughs> I love my two cats. Hopefully we can find some uh, some name tags soon and actually give them proper uh, proper names because you can't, can't tell them up. Well, you can tell them apart. <laughs> They all look a little different. Anyway, yeah, so I am declaring a mandatory evacuation of Simpleton, which shall commence in within 48 hours. Well, maybe, give or take, uh, 72 hours. It depends when I get to it. But, uh, yeah, this town is way too close to that outpost over there. We got the pillager outpost just uh, a couple hundred yards away. And I'm a little worried about these fellers over here. There's only four villagers in this whole town. So that's why we're gonna, we are going to evacuate. We're gonna take them all out and bring them to a nicer place far away from the pillagers, like maybe First Bell or Calico. They are desert people, so maybe we'll bring them to Calico instead. Uh, the sheep, we, sorry sheep, but we will not be evacuating the sheep. Can't take your kind. Um, we'll probably leave the two uh, simpletons behind, and that's why we named this place Simpleton. We got two dunces that live here. The two guys that don't really, they don't really uh, contribute in any manner to society and where are they right now who knows off picking daisies or something <laughs> so anyway yeah that's the plan we're not doing that today though today we have much more interesting things to do um i might even do that off camera because that's going to be difficult to get them out of here but we're going to put them in boats and bring them bring them back home where it's nice and safe and then we can attack that tower and not worry about the omen, the bad omen, right? And having this, um, having this town come under some kind of retaliation strike. But we're not going to do that today. Because we're not prepared for a fight with raiders just yet. Today, what we're going to do is go over to the bamboo jungle over there that we spied. And we're going to bring coffee and cream. And, of course, our horse over here. Bags, also known as beanbag. And the two dogs, our wolfhounds, can stay behind. Oh, bath time today, coffee. Okay. Oh, good. All right, great. Because you did kind of smell a little bit. All right, let's go. Hopefully, they can follow along. We did happen to spy. There it is right there. All that bamboo. Look at it all. Ooh, let's let it load up. Got a little lag here. Just don't take a bath in the lava, please. And don't use the cactus as a scratching post. That would be very, very simple of you. I mean, they are stray cats from the town of Simpleton, so... <laughs> I hope that doesn't rub, rub off on the cats. So here we go. Oh, little buddy here. Little baby buddy. Yeah, little feller. Don't run toward the cactus. Ay, ay, ay. Um, all right. I just want to make sure. Holy smokes. Oh, oh, look at that. There's a train down there. Railway. That means uh, mine shaft. I'm looking for a safe place to leave beans because he's nuts, man. He jumps into the holes all the time. Uh, this seems fine. Right, we really got to get some... We gotta get a lead. We gotta get, uh, we need, we need boogers. Um, slime. Slime balls. We need slime balls to make leads. So hopefully we can find a slime or something. Oh, but, however, um, pandas, little baby pandas can make their parents drop, um, slime by scaring them. They, like, sneeze, and then adult pandas will potentially drop slime balls. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, here we are in the giant, uh, let's bring up my... F3. Oh, look, there's a panda over there doing flips. <laughs> Hi, be right with you. <laughs> That's so cool. So, yeah, this is a uh, jungle edge bamboo variant. Here we go. Bamboo jungle. So this bamboo jungle is a variant of the regular jungle, obviously. This bamboo will grow inside of regular jungles, but only in single single shoots. So you do see that occasionally in a regular jungle. You just see like one bamboo shoot. But this right here is an entire jungle. It's massive. So cool. Let me just put my 
shield away so we can see better here. Hopefully there's nothing nasty in here. I guess we'll find out. Pandas aren't nasty. They're very friendly. There he is over there. Let's go say hi. Hi, buddy. Oh, well, w thank you. You just said welcome. Welcome to the bamboo jungle. Oh, this guy has got his tongue sticking out. He's sticking his tongue out at us, which means he's the playful kind. So apparently there are like five different personalities of panda and playful is one of them. Can you do something? Apparently they do like circus tricks. Let's see it, buddy. Let's go get him some bamboo. Oh, there he go. <laughs> he is a circus bear. Look at this. He's a little roly-poly feller. That's so cool. Thanks for showing off. That was awesome. All right. Well, I don't know what else he does. He does some kind of tricks and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, so here's all the bamboo. We're going to take a little bit. Apparently, it's pretty easy to break. It breaks like um, like sugar cane. It takes a couple of whacks with the axe. So there we go. New recipes. That's a scaffolding. Can't wait to make that. That's going to be a game changer. So there we go. We got uh, a few sticks of bamboo. Stalks of bamboo, I guess you call it. And these, you can make sticks somehow? Yeah. Regular sticks with bamboo, which we don't want to do. And we can make the scaffolding with it as well. So apparently, the sword is the best way to mine this stuff. So everybody stand back. I don't want anybody to get hurt. There we go. Look at that. It's one whack. And it's instantaneous. It's like, um, it's like sugar cane, right? So I'm going to leave the bottom one so that it regrows. And apparently, bamboo is the fastest growing plant now in Minecraft. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to test all this out later. We're going to bring some of this back home to first bell and uh we're gonna build up um well, we're gonna grow some we're gonna make a uh we're gonna make a little habitat for a panda we're gonna bring a panda this guy right here <laughs> roly-poly we'll call him <laughs> he's so adorable we're gonna bring him home and put him in our nature preserve yes we will and don't you deny it it's way more fun over there why aren't you even in your bamboo fella come on oh wait oh my gosh i hear fire yeah come over here so they do eat bamboo, and you can use bamboo to uh, breed them, apparently. So he will follow us on over here to the bamboo jungle where he belongs. Come on, buddy. Come and get it. It's delicious, and they are super slow, too. Not quite as slow as the turtles. Oh, the bamboo's in his way. All right, let me get rid of that for you. Uh, I don't want to hit him. <laughs> yeah, come around this way. Yeah, we're going to have to get him. What are you doing? Oh, he's scratching the bamboo. Oh, that's so cute. How are your claws now? They're nice and sharp? Uh, why are you sharpening your claws, by the way? Eh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> hey, pal, get back over here in your bamboo. We're going to grab a couple of uh, stacks of this. Oh, now he's rubbing his butt on the grass, eating bamboo. Are you hungry? You want some more? There you go. Mmm. So apparently we can breed these, but you can't tame them. And there's nobody else here around here to breed him with. But yeah, I don't want to breed him right now anyway. Like I said, we're going to bring this guy home with us. He's a loner. He's a loner, just like Mr. Tuttle's the turtle. Oh, there's an ocelot. <gasps> ocelot. Ocelot. Watch out. Hey, dude, I'm going to tame an ocelot. You just don't roll on top of people. <laughs> That's so rude. All right, cats, come here. Coffee and cream, get over here. I'm going to try to tame an ocelot. And then we're going to play with our bamboo. But I want to do this right now because this is new too. Ocelots apparently can be tamed and they just remain as, well, as ocelots. So let's see if this actually works. Dang, sun's going down now. Not cool. Yeah, where does the time go? Hey, buddy. I'm going to make sure he gets the smell. And once he gets the smell, oh, don't run away. Don't make this hard, please. Mm -mm -mm, fresh fish. Does this even still work? I don't know. As far as I know, you can tame ocelots and they just stay as an ocelot. They don't turn into cats anymore. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, go easy. Get out of the grass. I can't give you fish when you're in the grass. Ah, dang it. Okay, guys, I'm still chasing this ocelot. He's getting farther and farther away. Deeper into the jungle now. And we found some, uh, some more pandas here. We've got a little clearing here. We're on some Podzol in another bamboo jungle. He's right there. If he just turns around. Come on, pal. Yo, here he comes. Fantastic. Okay, this is great. No mistakes. Here you go. Have some nice raw fishies. We got him. We got our ocelot, the first ocelot. He doesn't sit like a cat, though, do you? Because <laughs> technically, he's not a cat. He's an ocelot. He's a wild cat. 
All right, fantastic. And by the way, oh, check this out. That bamboo grew right through the, uh, right through the watermelon. So we got a watermelon here. This is a brand spanking new look. Looks like they had a makeover, which is really cool. All right, let's grab one. Because now we have all new recipes. Sweet. And we'll grab this one too. We'll bring them on home. And we can make some more. Get rid of that. All right, fantastic. Um, now, Will, you follow us. That's the big question. I don't know. Now that I've tamed him. Oh, they make new sounds? What was that? Sounded like a panda sound. Hi. You are beautiful with the green eyes and the spots. Okay, come on. i to follow my torches back now through the woods. Through the jungle. Oh, taking fire. Man, I can't get it. This tree is so thick. I can't get around it. And what is that? All right, you coming with us, buddy? Come on now. Let's grab some vine while we're here, too. All right, hold on. I'm gonna grab a few vines. These can all be grown when we get back home. Whoa, what was that? Huh. I thought I heard a sizzle. I don't know what that was. Was that a parrot? I haven't seen any parrots, oddly enough. And here's another panda. This one looks like just a normal old variety of panda. It does not have a personality. This panda has no personality. <laughs> Unlike the others. So there's uh, there's lazy, weak, um, playful, like the one that we have over there. And what else? Aggressive. I think there's five total. And worried. And then the normal and then a brown variety. That also, as far as I know, it doesn't have any special... Um, personality, but it's really rare. So it's a rare color. I'd like to get this ocelot back at the nature preserve, especially when I set up my jungle exhibit. But it doesn't seem like the ocelot, even though it's tame, is following. So what is the point? Is he following? Oh, I'm being followed, but <laughs> not by the ocelot. Right, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, no, you don't. You just waltzed right into him, didn't you, silly? All right, well, I guess that was kind of a waste, because now this cat, even though I tamed it, doesn't seem to want to follow. He does not follow us. I just confirmed that on the wiki. Apparently, now when you tame... Not really tame. You can only gain confidence with Ocelot. So now if you feed one, you get the little hearts. You get a, uh, a an Ocelot that trusts you. And they won't run away. See, I can do anything. Jump on him. Um, and he just doesn't care. He's like, that's okay. I still trust you. You're, o you're okay for a human. So now he's going to follow us all the way over here. And the only way to get him to follow you is obviously with fish. Or maybe a lead. <laughs> but since we don't have a lead, this is the way we're going to have to do it. Um, I don't think he'll despawn. I'm not sure about that. We're going to have to test that out. But I want to bring him back over here. Maybe stick him in a boat before we go. I can't bring him all the way back like this, back home. But I do want to have an ocelot for our nature preserve back at first bell. Okay, here we are. There's our little roly-poly panda. Happiest panda in the jungle. <laughs> and now we have our ocelot. We're going to have a lovely collection of wildlife for our nature preserve. The, uh, the, the, the citizens of first bell are going to be so happy. Get him while he's in the water. Just push it. Push it, push it, push it. <laughs> there you go. I guess he doesn't like it much. <laughs> Put that tongue away, man. You're going to catch flies. Oh, maybe he likes to catch flies. There you go. Have some bamboo. I know it's not the most comfortable place to uh, to hang out for a little while, but we'll be back for them. I want to get my, uh, my bamboo back home, or at least back to Simpleton over here, and play around with that, make some scaffolding, and then uh, we'll come back for these guys another time. All right, come on. Coffee and cream, let's roll out. Let's get out of here. Is there anything else we want here? We've got some pods over here, which would be great to bring back, but unfortunately, we don't have a silk touch. Uh, oh, wait. Can't get those? Let's use our... Where's my shears right here? You can only get pods over with silk touch, but I wouldn't mind getting some of these ferns. Vern the ferns, so we can put them in our jungle. And what else can we put in our jungle? Uh, all right, I need a jungle tree. Where are all the jungle trees? I want to get some cocoa as well. So I just want to make sure I have a little bit of everything before we go. So let me... Oh, there's another ocelot watching us from a tree. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take your pal, your buddy, okay? He's in the boat. Don't set him free, please. 
Oh, I hear him. I hear sizzles. That's a parrot, all right. <laughs> Try to fool me. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's awesome. Come on, quick. No, don't fly toward that Zambi, you. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's get rid of the Zambi. Get rid of the Zambi. Get rid of the Zambi. Thank you very much. Come here, you. Come on, you can come home with us, okay? I've got a lovely little house for you. Stop sizzling. All right, yay. Man, this is uh, this has been a very fruitful um, trip to the to the bamboo jungle, hasn't it? Oh, my gosh. Okay, do not go that way. Oh, spider, which is good. We need string. We need string to make uh, scaffolding. Knocking on the shield. Nobody home except this axe. Pretty funny, right? Yeah. All right, everybody. Follow. We'll come back for the rest of these dudes later. Why is there a light down there? Oh, there's lava down there. I was going to say, I didn't put a torch down there. Okay, so we got plenty of bamboo. We have uh, we got a new parrot. We have a, an ocelot and a panda friend. We'll come back for them eventually. Oh, no, it's Bob and his buddy. Two Bobs. <laughs> two Boy Scout zombies. <laughs> Run. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to deal with Bub right now. And his friend, too. Can you imagine? Two of them. Oh, look at all the spiders over here. That's actually perfect. All right, this is... Oh, jeez. Put that hay there. I'm going to hop into bed before those two follow. Oh, my. <sighs> I hear a lot of feet out there. I hope it's not Bob and his little buddy. Oh, dang it. I wanted to put a sign up over at the um, in the jungle. Our first panda, first bamboo, and all that jazz. But I will do that off camera. I do tend to forget putting the signs down for historical purposes. But I will remember to do that off camera. All right. It's Bub and his little Boy Scout buddy are gone. So they couldn't keep up with bags. He's pretty fast. And we have these lovely spiders here. I need your string, dude. There we go. There's one string. We've got two creepers over here. Two creeping about. Look at those two. Yeah, get them, cats. Get them, coffee and cream. Ow. You stinker. Another spider. Coffee. Cream. Creeper. Keep them away. That's right. You better run. I love that so much. They run away from the cats. All right. Coffee and cream. Doing your job. Fantastic. Now, let's go play with some bamboo. Let me just clear out my inventory, and then we're going to mess around with the bamboo um, and see what we can do with that. Should be very fun. Hey, who's pushing? Okay, I think we're all ready to play around with our new bamboo and scaffolding, etc., etc. And check out our uh, macaw here on the shoulder. That is a, I think it's a scarlet macaw. Isn't she beautiful? We'll call her Scarlet? Anybody? Any other ideas? Scarlet, okay. We'll stick with Scarlet. Hold on. Before we go get the doggies, let's go ahead and fashion some of this um, scaffolding, which is bamboo and string. Fortunately, we got whoops, plenty of that. Let's make a bunch. All right, stop pushing, kitty cat. This cat is uh, very rambunctious because he's on coffee. Drinks too much coffee, this coffee. All right, we have at least one full stack of scaffolding, and we're going to go build up a, um, a wall between this town, uh, Simpleton, and the outpost over there so that we can mask our movements when we finally get around to um, evacuating. <laughs> so we can disguise our movements behind the giant wall. This bamboo grows up to, like, 16 blocks high. It's huge. What, 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 where is everybody? What are you guys doing in the hall? This is why the town is called Simpleton. They're all down in a hole where they're totally vulnerable to attack. Guys, and you can't even get out of there, can you? Can ya? Now, here, let me make a nice stair for you. Come on, guys. Nice, safe stair. Get the heck out of there. See, here's the two, uh, here's the two town dunces. They don't do anything. They don't contribute to society or the economy or anything in any way, shape, or form. We can't even talk to them. <laughs> Simpletons. But we got to save the farmers at the very least. Farmers, uh, they're important. All right, let's go. Let's go build that wall. Bamboo wall right here. So the great thing about bamboo is you can plant it in anything. You can plant it right in sand. Um, dirt, podzol, red sand... I think um, mycelium. So yeah, pretty much. Oh, gravel too, which is really cool. 
Yeah, see that's that outpost right there. They can see everything from the top of that tower, so we need to mask our movements when we evacuate. And I think we're gonna be able to follow this river right out of here. We might have to like cut through to make a connection. But uh, yeah, let's do it. So let's get that out. Um, oh, you know what I want to do? I wanted to make some bone meal and the composter. I got some bones. Yeah, we have 13 bones. We don't really even need the composter, but since composter is here and it's a 114 thing. Well, you can't compost bamboo, huh? All right, well, that's interesting. We compost seeds, which isn't very efficient. Look at all those seeds. Uh oh. Sorry, Scarlet. <laughs> I just composted all those seeds. It did nothing. So we're just going to grab bone meal the old fashioned way with actual bones. We've got a new recipe. All right, cool. So now let's try this out so we can just plant it right here. In a, in a straight line? Let's go in a diagonal line. So the diagonal. Just have to block that view. All right, pretty cool. Who's barking? Is that a dog or is that Scarlet? <laughs> Scarlet. You're crazy, Scarlet. Throwing me off here. All right. Okay. Oh, look at how fast that grows. Holy smokes. And like I said earlier, the bamboo is the fastest growing plant now in Minecraft. Super fast. I mean, right before your very eyes. Let's just sit here and watch. Maybe we'll do a time lapse and see how fast this stuff can grow. Hopefully, the outpost doesn't send anybody out here while we're messing around with our bamboo. That would be terribly rude. Now, we're going to help it a little bit, okay? Let's help this grow. If I hit it on the bottom, will it still grow? Yeah, it sure does. Look at that. Woo! Stand back. Hey, don't do that to me. <laughs> Freaks me out. I don't have my shield in my hand. Look at that. So, I'm not sure how many blocks that is, but we're going to stop right there. It's not taking any more anyway. Bump that up. Oh, this is fun. Oh, it's growing over there naturally. Look at that. It's popping. It's a popping. We'll use up all our bone meal here. And we're going to bring the rest back home and grow it in our nature preserve. Oh, what are you doing in there, you silly? You like it. Scarlet likes bamboo. Oh, there it goes. All gone. I don't have any more plant matter to compost. Just those seeds over there, unfortunately. Um, I wonder if... Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. This stuff will grow fast anyway. So by the time we're ready to evacuate, this wall should be complete all the way to the top, and that will mask our movements. Now, I want to try this um, scaffolding. So all you do is click on it, apparently. Oh, look at that. It just grows vertically, automatically. I'm not even doing anything. That's so great. Other than clicking on it. And I think you can go sideways, too. Well, let's climb up, of it, up it. Jump. Yes, you jump. Oh, you just hold. You hold down the space bar, your jump key, and you literally just climb straight up. That is amazing. Now, what happens if I... Oh. Oh, if you click on the top of this one, it just goes out. It extends horizontally instead of vertically. I think it goes out six total... Whoa! <laughs> I hit the squat key because I didn't want to fall off, and squat goes down. All right, that makes sense. Oh, there it goes. It fell. Okay, you can walk on this stuff. It's safe. I guess so. Now, what happens if I squat over here? You kind of go into it, but that's about all. You don't fall all the way through, fortunately. Now, I see... Did that one fall down there? Yeah, it's right there as an actual block. That's cool. So, I wonder if... I just keep dropping these. Look at this. Oh! Wait a minute. What happened? No, get rid of that. Uh, what happens if I hit that one? <laughs> I don't want the whole thing to tumble, because apparently that can happen. Oh, there we go. So it is extending out, and they're dropping, right? And now I can go down here? Can I go down here? Wait, where is the, uh... Oh, here it is. Can I go down? I want to go down. Go down! Yes, I can go down. Okay, it took a, a, a little jumping for the down to work, but, uh, but it did eventually. It's a little tricky. So there you go! Look at that scaffolding! That is sweet! No more dirt scaffolding all over your houses and builds that you have to, um... But you have to uh, break down with shovels one piece at a time because I'm pretty sure if we break the bottom one down here, I guess with an axe, let's see what happens. Stand back, everybody. Whoa. Yep. It explodes. And do they all come back to me? Did they all come back to me. Yeah, they don't break or anything? 
Okay, do you get them all back, I wonder? I didn't really count. Yeah, there goes the whole thing. Oh, that is amazing. It is a game changer. For all you builder types out there, I'm not crazy into building, but that's really, really cool. It's going to be helpful. It's going to be helpful with every build. Really nice. So let's go make it day, and let's get that wall all the way to the top, and then I can evacuate. We're not going to do that in this episode because we are pretty much done. You Oh, creeper! Cats! Coffee! Cream! Go get them! All right, I'm going to hop into bed. All right. Uh, yeah, so now we're just going to wait for that bamboo to grow, and then in the next episode, we will evacuate this town. We're going to bring back the panda. We're going to get the ocelot, bring everybody back to first bell. That is going to be a significant process. It's going to be very time-consuming. <laughs> And probably very frustrating at times, so I will spare you that. I'll do it off camera, at least some of it. I'll save for uh, I'll save some of it for us to do together to do together because it can be fun. And then we will take on that outpost and we'll get that bad omen when we're ready. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe when I have some diamond weapons and maybe diamond armor before we do that because we want to be prepared for the for the uh, the raids. Well, I think we are done here for now. That was quite a fun episode. We saw a lot of new 1.14 content, including the pandas, the bamboo, the scaffolding. We got to tame an ocelot. Well, okay, we didn't tame him. Technically, we didn't tame him, but we befriended him, and uh, we captured him in a boat. We're going to bring all those guys back to our nature preserve, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. All right, who's barking? I can't tell who's barking if it's a real dog or if it's just a parrot. <laughs> this is going to drive me crazy. Oh, gosh. Bob? I heard Bob. Run for it.